All right. Yeah. Uh, today's uh, title is Life with the World. Yeah. And text is First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk. That means the word of God. Yeah. That by it, you may grow up into salvation. Uh, the Bible is a book compiled from writings by around 40 authors over approximately uh, 1,050 years, all inspired by God. The purpose of the Bible is not for cultural or academic knowledge, but to provide wisdom for salvation and guidelines, guidelines for living in communion with God. Okay, we must know the the God the Bible uh, first. The Bible as spiritual nourishment. Yeah. First Peter chapter two verse two. Long for the pure spiritual milk. Uh, just as a baby long for its mother's milk, uh, crying until. It is fed. The children of God should long for God's word. Consuming the word is essential for spiritual growth. And Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, uh, Jesus said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Amen. Yeah. Second, the Bible as the word of God. Second uh, Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Our scripture is breathed out by God. Isaiah chapter four, uh, 34. Uh, verse 16, none shall be missing, for the mouth of the Lord has commanded, and his spirit has gathered them. Yeah, spirit, uh, scripture has unity uh, through written by different people in different times, uh, in different places places under God's revelation. It is consistent as if written through mutual consultation. Yeah. Old Testament uh, has 39 books, writings from Moses and the prophet prophets inspired by God focusing on the coming Messiah, Christ. The New Testament has 27 books, writings and letters from apostles inspired by God, focusing on the Messiah who has come, Christ. Yeah. The third, the story of the Bible. The Bible records the works of God's salvation for fallen mankind. God created the world and humanity. Humanity fell into sin by this uh, distrusting and betraying God. But God called Abraham to reveal himself to fallen humanity. God made a covenant with the nation of Israel and spoke through their history. God revealed himself through Jesus Christ and accomplished redemption through the cross. God continues his work of salvation through the church 
by spreading the gospel. The second coming of Jesus and the final judgment are approaching. And in the end, the kingdom of God will be fulfilled. Yeah, uh, fourth, why we should read and learn the Bible? Uh, please read 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 to 17. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which you are able to make, make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Amen. Uh, through the Bible, faith grows and we gain wisdom for salvation. The Bible being inspired by God is beneficial for teaching, reproof, correction, and training in righteousness. It perfects God's children and equips them for every good work. Therefore, we must always stay close to and read the Bible. We should also continuously learn the scriptures through ministers of the world. By re-listening and meditating on the Sunday worship message each week, we can be led by the Holy Spirit. God provides and fulfills his word through the church pulpit. Thus, we must hold on to the pulpit message, pray, and obey. The word will certainly be fulfilled. Amen. Please meditate on the pulpit message and you can receive true answer in the lives of faith. Uh, I have experienced the true answer taking hold of the word of God every Sunday Connected. in the worship mm -hmm. message. Yeah. Right? Uh, Let's pray. Oh dear Father, thank you for giving us very important message. Uh, we want to live with the word of God. We want to follow your word and obey it. Lord, we want to take hold of the message and apply it to our lives and experience the true answer. Uh, we want to long for your word like baby and we want to uh, eat the word of God every day. Lord, help us to meditate on the word of God every day and keep the word of God in our heart and 
meditate on that in every breath, in every step we take. And experience the fulfillment of the word of God in our lives, Lord. Please lead us. Please help us. Please work us. We believe in you and commit everything to you, Lord. Please lead us through the word of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay.